Hello you guys, this is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. It's really simple to do. The colors I chose are red, yellow, purple, and green, and then for the thumb I'm going to use blue. You can go ahead and pick five of your colors of choice, or you can also do them all in one color, um, using the same color for all, or you can do them in black and white. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're already wearing your hydrating base coat. The next thing to do is I'm going to get my piece of paper, I'm going to get a, my uh, black nail polish and I'm going to glob my piece of paper with my black nail polish and I'm going to get my dotting tool, the one with the really thin tip and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a series of zigzags and that's what we're going to work on. Let's get started on that. I'm going to dip my thin uh, dotting tool and I'm going to start in this corner and I'm going to go straight after going straight I'm going to go up next I'm going to go to the side I'm going to go up again I'm going to go to the side I'm going to go up and to the side so we've done a series of zigzags there as you can see the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the color that I chose for my background. In this one, for example, I use red, on this one yellow, etc., etc. On this one, because my uh, this area here, I'm going to fill it all in with the blue I chose. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to fill it in just like that. doing right now is filling in that entire area. Just like that. So that's all we've done. We have filled in that entire area with the blue nail polish color that I chose for that finger. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my nail art polish, a black one, with a thin tip brush. That way I can do a series of lines going vertical and then also sideways uh, to create squares. So I'm going to get my nail art polish with a thin tip brush and I'm going to start doing a series of lines. For example, on this one here, I'm going to start here. See, I don't want to block you guys. And I'm going to go straight up like that. I'm going to dip again. Next, on this zigzag, I'm going to do a line going straight up again. I'm going to dip again. And now we're going to do that to this one. Straight up. And that's it for the zigzags, I mean for the stripes going upwards. I'm sorry you guys, I know I must sound really slow, it's past 1 a.m. But I didn't want to leave you guys without a video, so I might say a couple of dumb things. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do is now I'm going to do stripes going sideways. On this one here, okay, we're going to go sideways. Now we're doing the side stripes. Okay, on on each zigzag line. Next, we're going to do this one. Of course, remember to allow your nail polish to dry. That's very important. In between, let your colors dry. Um, next, I'm going to do this one. 
Okay. And the last one we have down there is this one right here. So I'm just going to really quickly uh -oh, try to do this straight as I can. My finger went a little bit heavy on that one. So how can we repair that? Let me see if I can try repairing it because that one is really thick and I didn't need it that thick. So I'm going to glop the blue polish and we'll see if that works. I'm going to get the thin part of my dotting tool. I'm going to dip it in the blue and I'm going to see if I could thin that line out a little bit because that's a little too thick. Okay. Well, it looks like it worked. Okay. So there we have our series of squares we've done. The last thing we need to do is we're going to get our black nail polish and we're just going to fill in a couple of areas to create the checkered background. So I'm going to get my black nail polish and I'm going to start filling in the squares. I'm going to fill in this one here in the corner. It's filled. Next I'm going to skip one. We're working on the top line. I'm going to skip this one and I'm going to do this one right here. So the top line is done. Now for the second line, we're going to fill in the middle one. And that one's done. Next, the third line, we're going to fill in this one right here on the side. That one right there. And that's it, you guys. You see how simple it was to get this nail art design done? It's really super simple. Remember, in between the steps, allow your colors to dry. And uh, try to do the lines as straight as you can because that determines how square your nail art is going to look. And you should wait before you apply the top coat before, it's before um, applying the top coat so it could be completely dry. But I'm going to see what happens if I apply this top coat. Just for fun, let's see what happens. <laughs> it's really late and it's okay if it messes up anyways. I'm about to go to sleep. Hey, pretty good. It's not messing up. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see what happens to this side. Very good, you guys. It ain't messing up at all. And it's not going. The color isn't going into the other. Bleeding into the other colors. Pretty good. It didn't mess up not even once. That's pretty good. I'll put the name of the top coat I'm using in, in the description box in case you guys want to pick it up. So that's the nail art design for today, you guys. I hope you guys liked it. Have a wonderful, fun weekend, you guys. Be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.